Doesn't want to be here at all. I'd like to call to order the Westmont Village Board meeting, September 27, 2018, to order at 6 o'clock p.m. and ask Clerk Sinke for roll call, please. Mayor Gunther? Here. The clerk's here. Trustee Addington? Here. Trustee Barker? Here. Trustee Barry? Here. Trustee Guzzo? Here. Trustee Little is absent today. Um, She's a little bit out of town. Yes, she is. Trustee Nero? Here. Attorney Zemanek just walked in. Here. Manager May? Here. Finance Director Parker? Here. Would everybody please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, what I call one of the most enjoyable evenings uh, where we get to swear in some new police officers. But before we do that, I have an open forum. If there's anybody here now who has anything they want to address the board that's not on the agenda, uh, you can see Chief, one of the Chiefs, back there and fill out a form. But I do have one request. And the request is from Jim Hobdas. That's, wow, 413 North Grant, and he's going to address the board about some property uh, on 408 to 414 North Cass and the Weeds. Thank you. Uh, the property at 408 to 414 was purchased by Steve Vernon back in 2006, and he cut down... 60 to 80 trees back there, and was supposed to develop condominiums. There was problems with his plans. He, he says it was financial problems that changed, but that, that's not the reason. Um, anyway, you approved plans again last year for 27 or 22 uh, townhouses. And then again, last July, um, you approved um, plans again, just, or gave them the variances again. Anyways, since 2006, this guy has not cut the grass. I mean, he has cut it occasionally, okay? It's, but it's just once in every three, four months. And I keep an impeccable lawn, and this is what I have to put up with. And now I understand that even though you had the meeting on Thursday or uh, last July, and he had D.R. Horton in here saying they were gonna purchase the property. That's not gonna happen, and you know it. So I just like to get the grass cut. So I file a complaint, and it's not taken care of. I go back down 10 days later, and he says, there's nothing we can do about it. And I wanna know why. I must like to have taken care of. And I think, Steve May, I think you're- Well, I, I have two points for you and we received your comments and the uh, you know as presented is a code enforcement issue other than the you know the development history so that uh, whether you like it or you know we're complicated with when we have to go in and do like citations and do that type of thing uh, the timeline is much more complicated to where you can get to that point and actually issue a violation and even further that if it isn't followed on through to get permission to go onto the lot and have the mowing done ourselves and lean the property. We do do that. Uh, it takes a very long time to uh, get to that point. What I wanted to let you know is that uh, we just had a community development committee meeting uh, of the village board before this meeting. It was a committee level meeting uh, where we learned that there was actually permits in for the redevelopment. So that is a about to start and their goal is to break ground you, you know before we get you, into winter. Do you realize that there's heritage trees back there and he cannot um, take the trees down there? Your property. There's village property. Back 33 feet belongs to the village. I don't know the details of the review. I'm just letting you know that the permits were submitted. Okay, but you can't take there on heritage trees, am I correct? Your, your comment was around tall grass. I can't review the development here under open forum. Okay, tall grass. It's tall. There, it's foot and a half high. And he never cuts the fence to fence like you say in your uh, bylaws. Never. Understood. 
Okay. We'll send, but we do have a heritage tree ordinance, and we'll make sure he applies. It applies to him. Thank you. Any other open forum? None. I will close open forum and move on to reports. My report is first, and I'm going to start off with one of the more enjoyable duties I have, and I'll ask Chief Gunther to come up and start the process of swearing in our new police officers. Thank you, Mayor. Um, it's a great day for, uh, for the police department. We, we are uh, swearing in and welcoming our three newest officers who have recently graduated from the Cook County Sheriff's Police Academy. Um, we haven't sworn in three at the same time in quite a while, so that in and of itself is uh, quite an achievement, and I'll cover that a little bit uh, at the end of the speech. The, uh, the three officers um, attended the police academy, which is a rigorous uh, course of study uh, over the summer, and what makes this uh, particular group of individuals uh, special and unique is in my, uh, my 22 years of being a police officer here, I've never seen uh, new officers immerse themselves in the community like they had even while training at the police academy. Uh, they, were, they were mainstays at all the, uh, the Westmont events. They were at the 4th of July. They volunteered their time at the Taste of Westmont. They attended street fairs. They really got to know the community even before they hit the streets uh, in their field training program. So that is an absolute uh, testament to themselves. Uh, it's a testament for the number of people that showed up tonight to support them, uh, how, how special these three individuals are. So with that, Officer uh, Dan Rooney, Officer Arndt, and Officer Silmani are going to be sworn in uh, bef before uh, this crowd. The, uh, we have been at a, a staffing shortage for, for quite some time, and we're, we're nearly at capacity uh, with the addition of these three officers. Um, and I would absolutely like to thank the, the great work of the Fire and Police Commission, who have been working tirelessly for the last two years. Certainly the last two years that I've been the police chief, they've been, uh, they meet more than they're supposed to. Uh, they have regularly scheduled meetings and they, they have to special meetings all the time to, uh, to process this level of, uh, of these applicants and the process. Can we ask Bob, Stella, and Vince to stand, please? These are the three individuals that put all the hours in to get us to this point today. Thank you. And I, I know they're working hard because their office is right across from my office. And <laughs> they're in there. They're in there for a while. So, uh, with that, I'd like to bring the three new officers up to the uh, podium for the uh, swearing in. Well, you don't have to ask me. You just ask the mayor. <laughs> Missing one. Oh, here we go. coming up for pinning. Uh, next we're going to have uh, the pinning of the stars. So this is always, this is the best part of the program right here. Yes. <laughs> this is where we can draw blood. No, you can do all, all at the same time. Let's see who the first one to yell ouch is. <laughs> Let's 
So, and now uh, by seniority, we're going to have the officers uh, give a short little speech, introduce their guests in the Chief, audience. And Chief, we, after they speak, we're going to allow for photos for the families and everybody with the, with their yeah. officer. Yes, absolutely. Yes. As soon as uh, so, you rest for a second, and then I'll rest. I'll listen. And then <laughs> yeah. the speech will come, and then we'll get to those. All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, tonight I'm here with my wife, uh, Danielle, who you just saw pin me, uh, my daughters, Nora and Audrey, and my folks, uh, Mark and Debbie Rooney. Uh, thank you, Mayor Gunter, uh, village board members, our fire and police commissioners, and Chief Gunther for the opportunity to stand here before you tonight. Uh, as a 35-year-old rookie, uh, I feel very fortunate to be in this position. Uh, I feel I finally landed in a career and a lifestyle that suits me best. In 2010, after seven years of being a soldier in the United States Army, I was ready to transition back into civilian life. Initially, I thought about being a school teacher, but after a few college courses, I realized that just wasn't going to be for me. Uh, then, as life works, I met someone who encouraged me to put my experience as a combat medic uh, to use as a fireman paramedic. And so began the next six years of my life, going to the fire academy and then to paramedic school and uh, eventually working for the Bolingbroke Fire Department for four and a half years. Uh, during the latter years at Bolingbroke Fire Department, uh, I worked at completing my bachelor's degree through American Military University. And in May of 2017, I completed my degree in emergency and disaster management. Uh, throughout the process of earning my degree, I became increasingly interested and intrigued by the idea of becoming a police officer. Uh, I felt that uh, law enforcement was where I desired to be most. And uh, after working up some courage, uh, I brought up the idea of a career change to my boss. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about the deputy fire chief in Bolingbrook. I'm talking about my wife. Um, <laughs> She was very supportive, supportive about the decision, and so I began applying for police officer positions. Uh, after looking through numerous applications, uh, the first place I decided to apply to was Westmont. Uh, and I chose Westmont because of its uh, similarities to the town I grew up in. I grew up in Glen Ellen, uh, and the fact that uh, it seemed like Westmont had a great appreciation for veterans. Uh, having never tested for a police officer position, I was apprehensive about the process, but uh, I knew in my heart that I was fit for the job. Thankfully, Westmont contacted me for an interview and began the hiring process shortly after, knowing that my age would soon preclude me from being hired, and uh, for that I'm, I'm very thankful. Uh, last but most certainly not least, I would like to thank my beautiful wife for her great sacrifices and support in helping me get to where I am today. Uh, her patience and understanding throughout all the changes has certainly uh, facilitated this process. I would also like to thank my daughters, Nora and Audrey, for constantly reminding me that family is and will always be number one in my life. <clears throat> and finally, uh, thank you to my parents, Mark and Debbie, for being here tonight and always supporting me in all my endeavors. Uh, thank you all again. Uh, I'm very excited to be part of the Westmont family and I look forward to serving the Westmont community for many years to come. God bless. Hello, my name is Officer Arndt. I'd like to thank everyone in attendance for joining this wonderful day for Dan, um, Arvin and I. I'd like to especially thank the, uh, Mayor Gunter, the Village Board, Police and Fire Commissioners for letting us on, and eventually, uh, finally, Chief Gunther, for a great, uh, this great opportunity to work for Westmont Police Department. I started, I started out wanting to design and, um, design and build buildings, pursued a degree in construction management, and worked for Rose Pavey and several other construction companies before I became a police officer. However, once I joined the Illinois Army National Guard, and returned home from basic and AIT, I realized something was missing. I missed the brotherhood and bonds of a common goal. So at that time, I decided to resign from Rose Paving and seek a career in law enforcement. I was thrilled to find out Westmont was hiring because I did several projects here in the community for Rose Paving and enjoyed some of the clientele I worked with and enjoyed the small atmosphere that Westmont um, offers 
I'm from originally a smaller town in Illinois, almost by uh, Iowa's border. So I was kind of nervous to move to the Chicagoland area again to become a police officer. For obvious reasons, a city is new and exciting to me, still not used to the traffic. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for my career here to begin at West, uh, Westmont PD and plan on having a successful career here and a long one. I couldn't ask for a better group of indiv individuals to help me start my career in law enforcement. I'm excited to join the family of Westmont Police Department. As you can see, a lot of them came out here to, today to show their support for us. I'd like to thank my mom, my sister, my brand new uh, brother-in-law, Dan, if he's in the room. There he is. Um, and other extended family members of I. I'd like to also, once again, thank you guys for the opportunity to work for Westmont, and I look forward to being part of your guys' community. Thank you, guys. All right, well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here in attendance. It's a wonderful, glorious night for us three. Uh, my name is Ben Sulmani, one of the new pro, uh, probationary police officers. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Village Board, Mary Gunter, Fire and Police Commissioners, and Chief Gunther for the opportunity to serve the great community of Westmont. Uh, prior to getting hired here at Westmont Police Department, my initial career was I was a health inspector for two different municipalities, uh, kind of in line with police work with enforcing code and whatnot. And then I got hired at my first department I applied to was DuPage County Sheriff's Office. So I was a correctional deputy for about two years. Um, after being there for a little while, I, want, I realized I wanted to serve the community in a different capacity, in a different fashion, and that's when I, wanted, that's when I knew I truly wanted to be a patrol officer. Um, after going through the process and receiving the call uh, from the fire and police commissioners that I was hired, still the same today, I'm still beyond words. Um, I look forward to the many opportunities that Westmont Police Department offers, um, and, I, and I truly, truly want to be able to fulfill everyone's wishes for you know, being a new police officer. And, what you guys expect from me and what we want to do for the community. Um, last but not least, I want to thank my wife, Belinda, and my family for being here, my mom, dad, both my brothers, my sister-in-laws, and my little nephew over there. So um, thank you very much again, and I hope to see everybody in and around town. <laughs> thank you. Chief and Mayor should be on. <laughs> 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 I think you need to introduce everyone. There you go. Yes. 
as customary, we have a cake for consumption in the ante room. So we're going to be uh, adjourning over there. Three guys, one cake. So <laughs> you're limited to one slice per, per participant. But again, like Chief said, you're welcome to. Um, you can stay here and listen to the rest of the meeting, or you can go enjoy the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Get back on now in a second. The code does call the police on the patrol office. They just don't. And we'll um, continue. Uh, I have a couple other items under the mayor's report. The uh, Sister City Double Ten ceremony on October the 10th at 10 a.m right here at Village Hall in front, we're gonna be unveiling a Sister City brick display. So everybody's welcome to attend. Uh, the State of the Village, hosted by the Chamber, October the 26th at Tico on 63rd Street, and it will be in the morning. And there'll be more information coming out prior to that, and if you're interested, please uh, contact the Chamber. The um, 100th anniversary a celebration we're celebrating our 97th year on November the 8th at 530 as part of our administration and finance committee meeting at that point our third mural will be unveiled um, and it's celebrating what years Larry 50s 60s, 70s. 50s 60s and 70s so that evening will be the unveiling at 530 and my last item I want to thank um, trustee Nero who represented me yesterday at the Westmont Junior High uh, as an elected official talking to their uh, potential elected officials there at the school. They had elect right that election day and student council. Election. Student council. So I appreciate you filling in. It's Absolutely. right in your backyard. So thank yep. you. We had some good questions too. Good. That's why I didn't go. Um, <laughs> let you handle it. Uh, yeah. You're the senior trustee. Um, That's right. We'll move on. I'll let you go first then. Trust, no, Clerk Simsky. I yes. almost. Uh, you can't <laughs> skip her. Mm -hmm. Keep the packing order in line. Um, first of all, DuPage County is ac accepting applications from people who are in need of assistance with their heating bill. So contact DuPage County if you need help with that. And if you haven't gone to the library and seen them, you all should go and look at, at our police chief's photographs. They're absolutely gorgeous and well worth the trip. I wish he would tell me right down where all these were taken. Okay, because they are beautiful. I was very proud of you. You did a nice job. And then I was telling the mayor that um, in our alleys now, the Downers Grove Sanitary District is um, putting in new sewer systems. Their construction group is one of the nicest group of men I have ever been around. It's called Uno Construction. They are so helpful. They'll come to you and say, can I help you get this? Or Because, you know, you can't use your alley anymore, but they are just really nice and so often we don't remember to say something kind about a group like that working in your neighborhood but they're they're a wonderful construction group so I just wanted to compliment them so. thank you trustee Nero 
Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thanks again for letting me go yesterday. Uh, just a couple of the questions that I promised I would share is they want the Village Board to help them with a better lunch program. They want a <laughs> hockey team. And they're excited about potentially the big development on the south side being a movie theater. So they're really pumped up mm -hmm. about the natatorium. I heard too. you solve one of their concerns. I did, yeah. There was the same issue as last year when I went. They were really looking forward to the student council to help them get a bottle filler, one of those drinking waters. So I happened to know somebody that knows somebody and were able to donate one uh, to them. So it was really good. exciting. They were really happy. And I don't think they listened to anything else after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. The kids gave great speeches <laughs> and uh, very thoughtful and uh, it's nice to see that, not just them, but the faculty and all the parents there that were involved in it. Uh, it wasn't like that when I was in, in no. middle school, so it was uh, very good. Uh, the only other item is early voting started today, so you can request a ballot by mail. I want to remind everybody there's some good candidates from Westmont on the ballot. Please request <laughs> your uh, uh, ballot, and also you can go vote early at the county complex, too. And the last thing is our next Public Works Committee meeting is December 8th at 4.30 p.m. right here. That's all I have, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Barker. Thank you, Mayor. A few things this evening. Um, last week, uh, Westmont first had a meeting, and uh, some of the outcome of that meeting was uh, there were two things that happened that we thought were really great. One is we were able to put the red ribbons up in honor of our fire department and first responders. And uh, they're in the CBD district over here, and uh, we're grateful that that uh, finally made its way after three years of honoring the police department. Uh, we've got something out for the fire department as well. Um, and then secondly, that meeting was a uh, discussion where we invited houses of worship throughout town, and we had a couple of them take us up on the offer. And, you know, my, my thought was it was a very good first meeting, and uh, we had a couple of... Uh, houses of worship that participated and um, I really was you know excited about the outcome and you know why they're in the community um, I don't think that's a bridge we ever crossed and that uh, we wanted to let them know that we recognize they're part of this community as well and uh, they had you know we want to learn about them but they had all kinds of questions for us and uh, you know that Communication, the dialogue is open there, and I felt really good about that. Um, as far as EIC, we're meeting on Monday night, and we have uh, this Monday at the library at 6 p.m. Uh, we have a number of things that are going on in October. Um, uh, with uh, Wicked West Fest, we have the smashing, uh, pumpkin smashing extravaganza. <coughs> and then uh, at the same time, the police department is doing a shred event, and uh, Larry will have some uh, additional information for us on all of these things. Um, two things that he's probably, are you gonna talk about the leaf collection and the uh, tree and shrub sale? You got that on your notes? I do, and uh, okay. we've been Take promoting that for, um, for a, a, about a month and a half now, but uh, time's running out. Uh, orders are due by October 5th. And then once you place your orders by October 5th, uh, then you'll pick things up on October 13th. But all the details, like everything that we do, is on the village website, westmont.ona.gov. Okay. You want to go through that? Um, so, Trustee Barker already mentioned it, but the Shred event is uh, October 20th from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, that's being uh, kind of co-hosted by both uh, uh, the police department and EIC. And, um, but this year, uh, there's gonna be an additional aspect to that, and that is the bulb, uh, light bulb recycling. And uh, the information uh, for that is also on the website, but we're, that's a new event for us, and we're excited about it. We're, we're hoping that uh, a lot of, that the word gets out and people are aware of it and, and come out and uh, recycle light bulbs. We are getting a lot of questions about it, and uh, being our first year, we're, we're hopeful that that's gonna turn out real good. And then the only other item here is, uh, pictures from last year's pumpkin smashing extravaganza uh, that's to promote pumpkin composting and uh, this year the actual composting is going to take place on the Saturday after Halloween and the new location is going to be at the library and that's from uh, 9 a.m. to noon uh, but uh, a couple weeks before on October 20th in downtown Westmont uh, those who uh, sign up for it uh, can go 20 feet up in the air in a uh, bucket truck and uh, launch a pumpkin 
towards the target below and uh, try to earn the uh, title of pumpkin king or queen. Okay, thank you, Larry. Thank you. And that is all, Mayor. Oh, thank you. I'll move over to Trustee Barry. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just a couple things today. Um, Last week we celebrated the Chambers Fall Open House at the Health Corps and they had over 100 attendees and it was, it was a great event. They transformed the gym into a, an expo center. There was a lot of uh, great prizes and so forth. Uh, Greg Pill it was, a, was a great host to all of us there. So uh, that was the highlight last week. Um, currently, uh, Larry Forsberg, Trustee Little and, and a team of people are working on economic development with our sister city. Uh, through the Chicago uh, prostate. So that's going on right now and that's an exciting uh, future program. Hopefully that will, will come to something. Our next uh, Economic Development Committee meeting will be November 7th at 9 a.m. and that's in the room right next door to the uh, boardroom here. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you. Trustee Guzzo. Thank you, Mayor. A couple things. First, uh, for fire department, Mark your calendars. The fire department will be 95 years old. Um, they will be celebrating this wonderful achievement on Saturday, October 13th from 1 to 3. It's going to be at the Johannic Fire, fire uh, Johannic Headquarters Station, 6015 South Cass. So please, let's get a good turnout. It'll be a fun evening. Um, fire Prevention Week is coming up very soon. And once again, the silent parade will be held on October 12th. It's 7 p.m. approximately along Chicago Avenue and Naperville Road. Um, please bring out your, your flashlights and let's support our first responders and those that have fallen uh, in the line of duty. Um, again, the Patriot Day ceremony was great. It was well attended. Unfortunately, I was unable to make it, but I know that there was a really good crowd, so I want to thank everyone for coming out for that. Senior Car Care Clinic. Yes, winter is coming, and that's going to be held on September 29th from 8 to 11 at Headquarters Station 6015 South Cass Avenue. Put that one on your calendar as well. Uh, Bowl Away Burns fundraiser is September 29th, and I believe it's at Suburbanite Bowl. Right. And times on that are? Starts at 6 o'clock with Bowl starting at 7. Thank you. All right, so if everybody can make it out for that great fundraiser. To repeat that maybe, I don't know if. Okay, it's look. going to be six o'clock. Bowling starts at 7 p.m. Suburbanite Bowl on Ogden Avenue. CPR classes are October 23rd. They are going to be taught by EMS coordinator Lynn Drally at the fire department. There is a $50 per person fee. Info is on the website at westmont.illinois.gov or you can call the fire department at 630-981-6400 for more information. Police Department, National Drug Take Back Day will be October 27th. The Westmont Police Department will be actually hosting this at two locations. One is going to be at the Police Department. The other one is gonna be at the Mariano's on 63rd. The hours for this take, drug take back are 10 to 2 p.m. Info is also on the Village website for that one. Uh, there is also a new drop box at the Westmont Police Department for all Village Municipal payments. Um, we currently have one here in the Municipal parking lot by the train station, so this is a second location. So that makes it a lot easier for everybody to get that taken care of. Then, in, in the absence of Trustee Little, I'm going to touch base on her items. Uh, the Administration Finance Committee, her next meeting will be October 11th, here 4.30. Everyone is welcome to attend. The Communications Department and the Police Department will soon be moving ahead with the public social media posting guidelines and launch of the Police Department's new Facebook page. So stay tuned for more developments on that. Communications Department, they are working on the next issue of the Westmont Word Newsletter. They are working on an updated brochure for the Muddy Waters exhibit. They are working with Mike Ramsey and Public Works to create a promotional video for the Model Water Tower Building Competition. And artifa artifacts from the Muddy Waters exhibit are at the Westmont Center have been loaned to the DuPage Historical Society, uh, wait, DuPage Historical Museum in Wheaton and will be part of a special exhibit through August 2019th. So that's a really great thing to go out and see. And then last, but definitely not least, Wicked West Fest. Events for all ages throughout the month of October. Info is on the website. Come to downtown Westmont on October 20th between 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. 
for the Wicked West Fest Costume Contest, Trick or Treat Trail, Pumpkin Smashing Extravaganza, Casket Races, the Exotic, exotic Reptile Showcase, and more. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. <laughs> A lot of information. I hope adding, Trustee Addington doesn't top it. Trustee Addington. <laughs> oh, not me. I never say anything. A couple of things, Mayor, thank you. First of all, before the meeting tonight, we had a meeting of the Community Development Committee. A um, couple of things to mention is we're looking for suggestions on the metal storage containers. Um, we've got quite a few of them around town uh, in, the, in the business areas, and some of them get to be a little unsightly, and so we need to work on new regulations there. And also we're working to, uh, on deep plate vehicles, again, these are business vehicles parked in residential neighborhoods or in residential driveways, um, along with trailers and motor homes, and the best way to, to work on those. Again, we're looking for suggestions. Anybody who would like to, to um, jump in on that, uh, you can email back to the, um, uh, to our community development department and or send it to me. Um, tonight we're going to have a um, uh, discussion and, and, a, and a new change in our brush pickup policy and then we went through several uh, items with regards to administration. I think by now everyone knows that uh, our village planner Joe Hunter Fiend, uh, Fiend? Fiend. Fiend. Um, has left us uh, to go to the village of Schomburg. Uh, we're all very sorry to see Joe go. A lot of you remember the unbelievably great work he did in redoing the uh, sign ordinance. Uh, we with Joe nothing but the best in the future. And um, so we'll be doing some temporary things as we look for a new planner. And um, there's a couple other things, planning and zoning. There were a couple of actions that we were brought up to date on. And then project update, uh, Oakmont Point um, is coming in front of planning and zoning in October 10th. And then there's a blueprint shop um, across the street from Bank of America. Um, that'll be on the agenda for planning and zoning. And um, Burger King is talking about possibly doing a redevelopment or revitalization, if you will, of their property down at 63rd and Cass. So things keep moving along. Um, one of the real positives is that our building permits are over 700 so far this year with a quarter to go, and last year they were 791. So it looks like we may surpass the number of permits from, from last year, which again, that's a very pos big positive. Uh, things keep moving forward, and um, our next meeting will be on January the 17th. Um, the other thing is, Tuesday morning was the um, meeting of DuPage Mayors and Managers Conference Legislative Committee. Unfortunately, uh, we were one municipality short of a quorum, so no action was taken. But there are a couple of items. Uh, you have a, um, a memo from me on your desk regarding that. Um, but we're working on the 2019 Legislative Action Program. Um, and we're looking, again, with suggestions. We've had a couple of really good ones. Um, what came out of that discussion was some of the mayors um, and the staff and I think also our legislative liaison down in Springfield feels that there probably will be no action regarding the hotel motel tax issue. It seems that that's been pushed back again uh, away from Springfield doing anything. Um, the, the attitude seems to be if you want to do it, take it to a referendum in your own town, leave us alone. Um, that again could change depending on what happens with the election in November. Um, but there are some things that are changing there. There will be a veto session. Um, there's, it's set for three days in November 15th to 17th. 
and then they might do it again November 27th to 29th. The governor vetoed this year 81 pieces of legislation, and two of them we know are already going to be brought up for reconsideration, and that was House Bill 126 and House Bill 127. They were, um, they had to do with paramedics receiving some of the same medical benefits and other benefits as firefighters received in, in that community. I'm not sure how that affects us, if at all, um, but DuPage mayors and managers had opposed those two bills, and uh, the sponsor, the legislator, has already indicated that she will be bringing those back up for consideration. Um, and you know, we can always talk to our folks if we want to chime in on that. However, um, one of the things that was pointed out was that they, those bills passed in the House with 80 votes, and it takes 72 votes to override the governor's veto. So that may be a, that discussion may be mute. <laughs> But it's, it's, um, it is things are moving forward. Um, there, was a, there was a report from the controller. I think this is what's really interesting, that the unpaid bill backlog is down. They finally have done some things to get some of these billions of dollars paid. However, there were interest penalties in 2017 on those unpaid bills that totaled $1.139 billion in penalties, and that is more in total numbers that was paid for the entire last 18 years. It's a lot of money, folks, for, for penalties for not paying your bills. Um, so we will be meeting again in November. The normal meeting of the Legislative Committee will be on October 23rd, and we will be doing our annual coffee break with the legislatures. All the legislators will be invited that morning to come. Uh, Mayor, you'll probably get a call from mayors and managers because one of the things they told us was call your state senator or we'll call the representative and their first question is, is my mayors showing up? And if they know their mayors are going to be there, they'll come. If if they get a if they get an I don't know, then they say, well, I don't know if I'm coming. So you know, and I understand that. So you'll be getting a call. And um, again, uh, there was no real formal action because of lack of a program, and or lack of a quorum. And then the third thing is, um, and I've mentioned this before, um, the Lions through our foundation sponsors um, a hearing bus where people can come for free and get a screening. And the Good Samaritan Hospital in their wellness center is having a senior health fair on October 3rd from noon, it's a Wednesday morning, from noon until, I mean from nine until noon, and we will have the hearing bus there. The Lions will have the hearing bus there. So if you want to come and get a free hearing screening, um, they'll be, we'll be more than happy to do that. and. Um, uh, find out whether you have any hearing problems that should be referred. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you. And again, I don't think they need my presence. They're both up for election. I think you'll see both our senator and representative. Yeah, you know, you, that's attempt. probably right. They'll probably both be there. <laughs> all right, moving on to the uh, consent agenda. Does any other trustees see any item they'd like to remove from the agenda? Yeah, I would, Mayor. I'd like to remove uh, the 2018 proclamation for Arts of the Page. And we, we're doing this so you don't have a heart attack in the audience. Uh, we, we didn't explain this last time. We, we take it off the consent agenda so it has its own opportunity to discuss. And because Trustee Addington almost had to call the paramedics two, three weeks ago when he For said, kids. yeah. He won't do nice, again. nice ladies, yeah. Is there any other item? Seeing none, I'd ask Manager May to please read. Consent agenda this evening. First item is Village Board Minutes. Board to consider approving the minutes of the Village Board meeting held September 13, 2018. Followed by the August financial report. Board to consider a motion to accept the financial report submitted for the month of August 2018. 
Then have finance ordinance number 11 in the aggregate amount of $1,549,497.19. There is one other proclamation on the consent agenda for Fire Prevention Week for to approve a proclamation declaring the week of October 7th through 13th, 2018 is Fire Prevention Week throughout the village. And lastly on the consent agenda with the removal would be under community events, we have Wicked West Fest, Halloween events for 2018. Board to consider an ordinance approving the Westmont Chamber of Commerce and Westmont Special Events Corporation Halloween events for 2018, which includes community events permit, street closures being Cass Avenue from Burlington to Chicago Naperville Road from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and live amplified sound permit. And the date for that's October 20th. Thank you. And that completes the consent agenda, Mayor. Do I have a motion to approve as presented? Motion to approve, Addington. Second, Nero. Motion remains second. And the question. Uh, with the, um, just so it, uh, it's read in, on the Wicked West Fest, uh, that includes waiver of fees? Um, you know what, there was no waiver of fees last year. Really? I was told this is identical to the request from last year. And uh, it wasn't on the agenda for this year, so I'm not sure what fees there would be other than the... Right, it's just a, an event on the streets with the road closure is kind of like the, the permit. So there are no 10 fees or there's no fees that were... So for the sound generated. permits, there, there isn't a fee normally? Okay. No fee for that. I don't know for the community events permit whether we charge a fee. I don't believe so. Not. Okay. Believe so. Any other questions? Seeing none, roll call, please. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Lit Little's absent. <laughs> Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Motion passes. We'll go back to the item that was pulled from the consent agenda. That's the 2018 proclamation for Arts to Page. And I'd ask Manager, I'd ask Trustee Barker if he would read that proclamation for thank, us. Thank you, Mayor. I've got the honor. This is right in my wheelhouse here, so I'm honored to do this. <laughs> Um, Art, Arts to Page Proclam Proclamation 18, a proclamation celebrating October's Arts to Page Month in the village of Westmont. Whereas the arts, culture, and humanities are the embodiment of all things beautiful and entertaining in the world, the enduring record of human achievement, and whereas the arts, culture, and humanities enhance every aspect of life in the village of Westmont, improving our economy, enriching our civic life, driving tourism and exerting profound positive influence on the education of our children. And whereas arts education research shows that the arts help foster discipline, creativity, imagination, self-expression, and problem-solving skills while also helping to develop a heightened appreciation of beauty and cross-cultural understanding. And whereas we use the humanities, history, literature, philosophy to explore what it means to be human and Whereas the arts, culture, and humanities play a unique and intrinsically valuable role in the lives of our families in our country, and whereas the month of October has been recognized as Arts to Page Month by Arts to Page and the arts and cultural organizations in all the communities within DuPage County. Therefore, I, Ronald J. Gunter, Mayor of Village of Westmont, do hereby proclaim October 2018 as Westmont Arts to Page Month and call upon all citizens to celebrate and promote the arts and culture in DuPage County. Do I have a motion by Mr. Trustee Barker to approve? Motion to approve. Second, Nero. Motion been made and second to approve. Any questions? Seeing the roll call, please. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Motion passes. I understand, is it Debbie Vince? Yeah. Um, she's here this evening to uh, accept that proclamation, but you, you take the opportunity and uh, you can address everyone. Hey, I, this is so exciting. I want to thank you, Mayor and the City of uh, Westmont for passing our proclamation. Just on my way in today, I'm hearing about public art with your murals and there's a, a music shop right next door and, and your events, your uh, library offerings and your um, uh, 
uh, concerts, your park district. It's just, it's such a rich community. And I want to thank you for supporting the arts. And I'm very happy to say that I had sent proclamations to all the mayors in DuPage County. And I got confirmation from the final mayor today. So we have a full county support of our Arts DuPage Month. And certainly you played a very important role in that. And uh, yay, thank you. So. Well, let me um, at this point at least officially hand you that proclamation. Great. There you go. The ink's still wet. <laughs> we had to make sure we put the vote in. Yes. And again, on um, behalf of the village board, we are gladly pass this for you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate Thank this. You. This is beautiful. I take a pick. I don't know how we got to come up there. Bruce has got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Moving on to agenda. We do not have any unfinished business. We'll move on to new business. 245 North Park Street, variance request. Board to consider ordinance approving a zoning code variance request from Roger and Elizabeth Mudrick to increase the maximum allowed size of an accessory building in the R3 single family detached residence district. And we've got interim. Community Development Director Burke. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, tonight, the Village Board is being asked to consider an ordinance approving a request from Mr. and Mrs. Mudrak for a shed variation to increase the maximum size of an accessory building in the R3 single family detached residence district. The applicants requested a variance to construct a 12 by 16 foot shed in the rear yard of the property, which exceeds the size limitation of 144 square feet by 48 square feet. The Planning and Zoning Commission discussed concerns of setting precedent for larger sheds, but they also acknowledged that the size of the property and removal of several smaller sheds uniquely justifies this request. The Planning and Zoning Commission made a unanimous recommendation to approve the shed variance at its meeting of September 12, 2018. So an ordinance has been prepared by the village attorney for you tonight. Do I have a motion to approve? So motion to approve as presented, Barry. Second, Guzzo. Motion made and second to approve on the question. Yeah, and with the attorney remind me, is there a public comment? They're seeing none, then uh, trustee, no comments? Then I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask for a roll call. But, uh, Claire Simsky's finishing the last item. <laughs> motion be made and second. Trustee Perry made the motion. And, and Guzzo made yes. the second. I was paying attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I didn't know it was going to be this quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trustee uh, Barry. Yes. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. New Business B, 514 64th Street, Plata Subdivision. Board to consider an ordinance approving a request from Peak Custom Homes, LLC, for preliminary and final Plata Subdivision to split one lot into two in the R1A single family detached residence district. And Director Burke. Um, as the mayor said, there is a request, a request before you tonight to consider an ordinance. The uh, lot in question will be split into two residential lots, both in full compliance of zoning regulations. The home currently sitting on the site will be demolished and removed. One lot is currently under review for a new home that would be built following board approvals of this ordinance. The Planning and Zoning Commission made a unanimous recommendation to approve the subdivision at its June 13, 2018 meeting. According to the village engineer, the plat of subdivision and site plans are recommended for approval and consequently an ordinance has been prepared by the village attorney for you tonight. Do I have a motion? So move Guzzo. Second, Addington. Motion made and second to approve. 
on the question. Anybody in the audience, trustees? Seeing none, I'd ask for a roll call, please. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Motion passes. New Business C, Savoy Consulting Group Agreement. Board to consider ordinance approving an independent contractor agreement with Savoy Consulting Group for Community Development Department Planning Services. Manager May. Mayor, we, we discussed this a, a little bit at Community Development Committee. Uh, Trustee Addington brought it up under reports. With the loss of the village planner, we need to move towards filling that position, and this is an agreement with a, uh, it's an individual, but it's also, uh, you know, his company that we're contracting with as contract personnel to fill in the duties of the uh, village planner in the interim, uh, roughly a three month basis while we fill that position. We have a motion. Motion to approve, Barry. Second, Addington. On the question, and do you already have an individual selected? This is uh, specifically to retain a, a person for this interim duty, yes. Yeah. His name is Con Savoy, and it's Savoy Consulting Group. Is oh, the okay. Any other questions? Seeing none, roll call. Trust, <coughs> Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Motion passes. New business D. Government Insurance Network updated bylaws. Board to consider ordinance approving updates to the Government Insurance Network bylaws. Manager May. I ask the village attorney, please, to oh. give an update. Uh, earlier this year, the village board approved uh, the villages uh, joining the GIN network, the government insurance network, which manages certain employee benefits, and then subsequently approved the bylaws for this uh, newly formed uh, government insurance network. Uh, now there have been some fairly minor revisions to the bylaws that basically address electronic attendance at meetings. Uh, and when meetings can be called, et cetera. And uh, those, are, those amended bylaws are up for approval tonight by you. Do I have a motion? So move Guzzo. Second, Barker. Motion made, second. And the question. Anybody in the audience? Any board member? Seeing none, roll call, please. <coughs> Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Addington. Yes. Trustee Barrett. Yes. Motion passes. New business. E, amendment to section 38-1, brush collection. Board of consider ordinance approving the repeal and replacement of section 38-1 in, it, in its entirety. Director Burke. Um, Mr. Mayor, this was discussed at the, the last administrative and finance committee, also talked a little bit about earlier tonight in the community development committee. Essentially, uh, since the adoption of or the approval of a private collection or private uh, brush pickup collection for the village. The provisions of that contract are different than what is in the municipal code. And when the municipal code was drafted or this particular section was drafted, the village was collecting the brush by its own forces. Uh, we needed to recommend a change there. So this would be in more closely coordinated with the contract and any future contracts. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve, Nero. Second, Barry. Motion made and second. Additional questions or comments? I'll just point out there are a few tweaks to the uh, language of the code amendment that I made that differ uh, from what is in your agenda packet, but it's mostly just word usage, nothing substantive. Any additional comments? I guess just a clarification. So the, the village now, we, we're not going to do any uh, brush pickup at all, or is that just going to be storm pickup? Is that it, how that? Yeah, it, storm damage in reaction to that. We had a, uh, a cycled program that we did through the Public Works Department, and then with the waste management uh, contract, we now have enhanced weekly pickup uh, for brush pickup, so we do not do that in-house anymore, the routine brush pickup. I think it's a, it's a little stricter rules, but, but the pickup every week is just such a nice luxury. So. Uh, just a matter, you got to twine them up, right? Is that yeah, somebody had to remind me about the twine. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rules. I've got a question. No, yes. Does the uh, waste management contract specify when uh, things like uh, garbage cans and brush can be brought out 
in advance of uh, the pickup day? Is it literally like a 24 hour rule? Well, our code does. Uh, but oh, the code does. Okay. Because it's referenced in here somewhat generally, and I just want to make sure there was some other more specific provision that, that in case we needed to enforce it against them. Well, the only problem with that from my own experience, I may do the work on a Sunday. I brush pickups on a Tuesday, and I try to set it by the street, so I'm in violation. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have people yeah, out there. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Mr. Honesty here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the only question um, I'd have for the manager is that we're approaching the, I think it's the month of November uh, with the leave pickup. And is it, it's November, and this year is it unlimited? In the past you got two? Yes, I don't recall. It, it is unlimited, but I don't remember when that starts. Okay. November. It's usually the month of November. Yeah. All, all right here, pickups. Mr. Yeah, it's, it it's, it still has to be bagged. Yeah, it's got to be bagged, but... November 5th through the 30th, it's on the... Uh, so it says to December 1st. Yeah. Clean up your yard. So tell me what it says. Thank you. That's <laughs> right. And I'd ask uh, <laughs> for the roll call, please. Trustee Nero? Yes. Trustee Guzzo? Yes. Trustee Annington? Yes. Trustee Barry? Yes. And Trustee Park. Yes, motion passes. Miscellaneous. Anybody have anything? I, I just, know. Just yeah. something that I think is, again, historically, it's interesting, <laughs> and with what is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with uh, with the uh, services tonight and tomorrow morning. This is the municipal code. If everybody can see the thickness of this thing, from 1956. John, you want to hold up the. Uh, I was looking you have for your code book with you today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, slightly different, folks. However, the president back then was a lion by the name of Bill Robinson. One of the trustees was a lion by the name of Frank Lucas. A future mayor by the name of Lion Andy Pasquinelli. But also the sixth trustee was Lion Bill Wayback. I think that was Bill Wayback Sr. But you know, we are honoring Bill a little bit tonight with a with a memorial service, and there'll be a mass tomorrow. And uh, again, it's always that family was involved in this community for a long, long time in a very positive way. So interesting to see some of that. And you weren't on that board? With the Johannics. No. <laughs> there was a Johannic somewhere. I thought maybe you're on your 20th year in 56. I think, I, I think yeah. at that point in time, I was probably only in seventh or eighth grade. Oh, okay. Well, then you weren't. But not long after. <laughs> no, I don't know. The Any trustees, addition? Yes. The trustees used a lot fewer words back then. Yeah. <laughs> um, seeing no other miscellaneous items, I do have to ask the board for probably the quickest executive session um, you'll ever have. It'll be quicker than if you walk in there and get the cake. So to discuss the following, pending litigation to discuss 1001 Ogden Avenue Partners versus Westmont pursuant to Section 2C12 of the Open Meetings Act. Do I have a motion? So moved, Guzzo. Second. Nero. Motion made, second, adjourn the executive session. Roll call, please. Trustee Guzzo? Yes. Trustee Barker? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. Trustee Barry? Yes. Trustee Edding? Yes. Okay, we're going to adjourn the executive session. When we come out, there will be no further business, so I thank everybody for attending. It will last quick if we can go right in there.